Thoroughbred racing may be an older school sport, but the manipulation of genetics to create the perfect racing animal continues to reach impressive heights. Edmonton Northland's racing manager, Chris Roberts, is a knowledgeable insider. You know, any morning here at the track, we've got 850 horses on the backstretch right now, and we'll go up to about 1,000 in the peak of the season. And on any given morning, six to 700 of those horses will be on this track, either for a, uh, a, you know, a morning jog or a timed workout. Well, thoroughbreds are a breed of horse that has been refined and refined and refined again. So when you look at animals that have been selectively bred for whether it's horse racing or animal showing or anything else, thoroughbreds are at the top of that peak. Thoroughbreds are bred to run at extreme speeds over generally very short distances. Horsemen use durable, utility-like standard breds to assist in daily training routines. The thoroughbreds are the stars, of course, and keep race promoters like Chris Roberts in business. Uh, you look at Alberta, we've been breeding horses here for a long time, certainly not to the degree and not to the level that some of the other, uh, you know, more senior jurisdictions in North America do. But even here, you're always trying to refine that breed, bring in better brood mares, better stallions to produce a better end product. It may not be as esteemed as horses bred in Kentucky or California, but thoroughbreds are often bred to handle regional environment. Overseas in, in Europe where they breed uh, and race predominantly on the grass, you'll see grass stallions and grass mares and grass genetic markers uh, extend themselves into the breed, whereas here in North America you're breeding conventionally for dirt runners uh, and uh, distances ranging here from about five furlongs up to about a mile. So a horse has trainers and grooms and people that surround themselves uh, around that horse's health and well-being to try and produce that peak effort on a race day. When you see these horses out here, they're tremendously uh, muscled animals. They're tremendously well fed, well taken care of, and they need to perform at peak efficiency on race day. There used to be an old saying in horse racing, breed to the best and hope for the best. Uh, and it, it's just so much different than that now. I mean, they look back for individual markers in a horse's genetics and try and line those up with particular mares or stallions. We have horses on our backstretch right now that are probably worth three to four to five hundred thousand dollars, and we've got horses on our backstretch that are worth three thousand dollars. So you do see this tremendous variety, but all of these horses are treated and fed and trained and brought along and prosper the same way. But at the top end, Roberts will tell you, genetics are everything. I'm Tim Dancy.